Hi hey guys, so I'm back with um, an abdominal CT that has contrast. And so what contrast does is pumps iodine into the bloodstream. And what iodine does is blocks um, certain elements of the x-ray radiation from absorbing. And that makes certain structures, um, basically your organs, show up a little bit more visibly on the CT scans. And so I think I had mentioned this before, but CT scans basically take several slices of an image and piece them together. So um, what this is, is again, um, my little guy, and this is an abdominal CT with contrast. And so I want you to look at a couple of things. We're going to start at the top of his abdominal area. So we're going to start actually above his stomach, and you can watch that in this picture up here. And then you can see the internal view of um, his body as we go down, down here in this bottom left picture. Okay, so if you look basically at this bottom left picture, I'll kind of point out structures as we go. But you'll notice on the top two pictures that the line is also um, moving down as I scroll through these bottom slices. So each one of these is an individual picture. There are like 96 images all together that make up this one CT scan. So um, here we go. We This um, actually is the stomach. This is where we start to see the stomach. So if you were looking at this bottom picture, this picture is in um, reverse anatomical position. And so it is meant for you to be looking down. If you were looking down at my son's head from above him, then you would be looking down through the inside of the body from that angle. So looking down, if you could see straight down through his head and all the way down inside through down to the feet, then that's how you would be looking at this. So this would be stomach. You can start to see the fundus of the stomach there. And then it gets a little hazy because we start going through. That's the diaphragm. And here you can see the um, spine and the, uh, the vertebral column there. And here you can start to see the kidneys. So there's one kidney over here. We have another kidney. And if you look up top here, you can see that's about where the kidneys are. So we keep going down, we see more kidneys there. And going on down, and actually, if you look very closely, um, I don't want to make this too big because I'm afraid I won't be able to get it back down to where I want it to be. Um, but if you look very closely, you can actually see a ureter on this kidney and this slice. And so the ureter goes down to the bladder um, and if you look, here's the bladder coming up here. Um, let's see if I can find the bladder. Your bladder is in here. And then we keep moving down, and we are now in the large intestines. You can see those big bubbly things. Those are the large intestines. And keep progressing onward down towards the feet. Bunch of large, you have a lot of large intestines in your body, believe it or not. Tons and tons, feet and feet. It's like 30 something feet of large intestines down there. And then we get into the smaller intestines. And then, oh, there's the bladder, sorry. So underneath the smaller intestines, there's the bladder. And you can see that that's the bladder because there's black in it, and that's because there's urine in the bladder. And then on down. So here um, is actually the pelvic girdle that we were talking about in class today, as a matter of fact. So there's the pelvic girdle there. You can also see the pelvic girdle up here. Um, on this top scan as well. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, it goes down a little further, but I'd like to protect uh, a little bit of my guy's innocence there. So um, that's it. That's a CT scan with contrast.